In this video, I'm reviewing and running through ManyCam, screen recording and camera recording software. It's my go-to for ease of use uh, to record all of these demonstration videos. In all of my videos in the description, I've got my special link. It's always kept up to date with the best deal for the software. So do use that link if you want to get a great deal on it. And if you've got any comments about the video or you need any help with using ManyCam, do comment below and I'll always try and answer all of your comments as quickly as I can. So let's jump in. Okay, so let's jump into ManyCam Studio. It's what I use to record all of my demonstration videos and it really is versatile camera and screen rec recording software that can do a lot more. <laughs> Ironically, I can't use ManyCam to record ManyCam because it would just do that repeat thing with the video, which would give you a headache. But let's jump into it and let's have a look at this screen. This is the main screen for ManyCam. Just to explain it, how it works simply, you've got your scenes at the bottom. You can see I've got four scenes, but you can have up to 20 scenes. Uh, down the left, you've got each scene, which is a preset, and that's how you adjust and add things into the scene. And then down the right, you can adjust the layers of the scene. So down the left, the presets down the right, adjusting the layers of the scene. And at the top, you can also add effects, add text, add a clock, and we'll get to the uh, virtual background in a minute as well. So really easy setup. So firstly, look at this scene. You can see I've got the green background. The, the important thing to say is if you want to blur your background or, or have a different back background on ManyCam, as long as your lighting is okay, you do not need green screen. So as I click on the virtual background there, and I choose to replace my background. At the moment, this is doing this without green screen technology. And this is actually what I use on my videos. And you can see it's okay. It's fine. Maybe the jury's out on it. And don't tell me what you think. But I can choose on the background there. If you can see this, I'll just adjust the settings. And it makes either the foreground area bigger. So I've got a big green glow. Looks like I've been near a nuclear power station. Or it makes my head really small. But to be fair, if you set it around there, that, that you could have anything in your background and you could have a virtual background behind you if i do click the uh, green screen and this isn't set up that way where you see you see I'd, then i'd have to spend the time messing with the lighting and adjust all the settings uh, so that it's keys a bit better but if you did take your time and you had good lighting you could probably get better results using the actual green screen but i'm going to go back to not having green screen there and then if you want to add anything else to the scene and you can see that down the left, you can add just about anything. You can add multiple cameras. You can add images and videos, PowerPoints, PDFs. You can add your mobile dev device. Yes, it's got an app, the ManyCam app. You link your mobile device, it'll share the screen on your mobile, Android or iPhone. IP cameras, the desktop, which is what we use for recording. You display the other display. Yes, if you're going to do screen recording, I really advise that you have at least two monitors. You can add a YouTube video. If you're a gamer, you can add the game. So there's just about anything you can add to the scene. Just show you very quickly. I am going to add, let's have a look, software reviews. I'm going to add my little box and it brings it in and you just simply drag it to where you want it to be. Fill review software, resize it. You can zoom in, zoom out, and do just about anything to it. So all the settings for each individual item in your preset will be found on the left, and you can adjust those settings. And then if you go to layers, you can adjust the layer, you can manage the layers. And just if you're using a, a Photoshop type program, you can move the layers forward and backward. At the moment that is in front of me, but if I drag it down, then it goes behind me. So you can adjust your layers and make your scene look cool. So that's the first part of it. Uh, now we jump to another scene. One of the great things, let me just show you this quickly. One of the things that I think, I don't know if this is unique, but I've not seen this in any other recording software is it's got a pause button. It sounds silly this, but it's such an amazing tool. So you start recording something and you're chatting away. And normally if you've made a mistake or you wanted to go onto another scene, you will press stop. And then that will be one video file. And then you'd have to link that video up to the other file and it would take you ages. And if you're doing that all the way through, if you're stopping and starting when you're making a video, you might be dragging eight different files into your editing software. With this, you can pause. And then you can jump to your next scene. This is used for live streaming as well. So of course, if you're live streaming, you wouldn't be able to pause. But just click pause and then it'll just start recording again when you're ready. Don't worry about my camera disappearing there because what is is the other software is recording 
the camera I'm using here so you can see me in the middle. So here we go. And I've jumped to my next scene. So when I'm ready to... So in this video, I'm talking about a fantastic YouTube channel called Phil Review Software. On this channel, Phil Review Software. So when I'm ready to record that, I just simply click pause. I didn't pause it there, but not to worry. You know what I mean. And start recording again and chat away. And that's really how it works. And then I can just jump over onto the actual screen that I'm... I'm jumping over onto my other screen and you can see that as I'm talking away... And trying to remember to look at cameras sometimes and then looking I can go through and look at that website let's look at this great video and it will record the scene so that's that's how that works and I also want to show you this one as well just a, there's lots you can add but let's cut to this one so there is a YouTube video and if I wanted to show a video of something it would just automatically play it back when I jump to it. Your audio sources are down the bottom. You can adjust the volume on your microphone. Also, if it's playing a video, you will see, let me show you the video. It will, as I press play there, it will show you the audio of that video that's playing. So you can adjust those and equalize them so the microphone is the same volume as the video. You can add as many scenes as you want down the bottom. You can see that I think included in my version of it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 20 scenes. I can't see why you would need more than 20 scenes. Regarding the quality of recording, it goes all the way up to 4K and up to 60 frames per second, so you can record really high quality videos. And now let's talk about live streaming, because if you click stream, you can restream direct to Facebook, to YouTube, you can connect your Twitch account, uh, or just connect your output to something and they're basically streamed to anywhere. So it's easy to uh, configure the streaming on ManyCam. So if you're doing any live events and live streaming, you can add your custom server or use YouTube and stream live there with everything set up. So not just for recording, also for live stream. If you're struggling while using ManyCam, if you click on that link there, it will take you to the ManyCam help page. If you need any help while using ManyCam, you click on the question mark at the top and it will give you the ManyCam help page and just here the information this shows you how much RAM you're using while you're recording how much of your CPU you're using and what frames per second you're getting that might be a bit reduced on this one because I'm also recording on a different piece of software it is my go-to there are a lot of different webcam softwares out there there's some high-tech screen recording and streaming software like Wirecast which has cost me thousands over the year when I keep on updating whereas ManyCam is less than £100 for year, per year uh, for the one I'm using and it really does everything you need. So ManyCam, would I use it? I do use it. It's what I record all of these videos with. Fantastic piece of kit, best one I've found. Uh, the one thing I didn't mention in the actual review before was the snapshot as well. It's also got a little button so that when you're making your little videos and you want to make your thumbnails, you can just smile and take a snapshot. That's a great little feature I forgot about. Uh, but I do use it all the time. It's really easy to set up and it just works. So I would recommend it as a fantastic piece of software. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes, of course I would. It's versatile software. It can do everything you need. You can add all of the sources. If anybody is going on that adventure, and starting to record themselves or starting to record their screens and make videos, I'd say the best starting point is to get ManyCam. Hope you enjoy my little videos. Do smash. Why do I say smash? Because I heard someone else say it. Do press. Thank you. That subscribe button. And uh, you'll see more of me reviewing software. I'll see you next time.